<laughs> so do you really think I look like a traffic cone? Because that wasn't what I was going for. Oh, hey, everybody. Um, oh. We are back here at Board Crazy, where we're going to be doing a little prep for our next MLB Showdown video. Uh, we have a booster box here of MLB Showdown 2002. Mm -hmm. We're going to be opening up some cards, choosing them, and getting ready to draft our teams. Yeah. So... We'll Deep. be back in it. Oh, what? Uh oh, oh, we're doing it. We're doing a cut to the intro. Yeah. All right. Here that goes. All right. So we're back from the intro. Yes, we are back from the intro, uh, and you are back from hunting, I guess. Yes. <laughs> I don't need to go to this right now. No, that can be uh, later. Yeah, yeah. So we're doing some prep. Yeah, I was hunting. Yes. Uh, normally we we spare our audience preparations uh, for our videos, but we thought maybe this would be entertaining to some people. We have some fans of our MLB Showdown 2000 and 2001 playthroughs that we did. So I remember going into a, a trading car store or comic shop and seeing these. Mm -hmm. You would, you know. Pick your packs out, yeah. scan them, mm -hmm. pay for them, and go buy, go buy, go open them. And it was a good old time. Yeah. So I thought for nostalgia's sake, I was going to seek out one of these booster boxes. Mm -hmm. I feel like I got a fairly uh, good deal on it. There are over 30 packs in here. $8,000. Now, we're not going to be opening all 30. Oh, okay. Good. Because that would be an ungodly what? video, like, in length. Yeah. And, you know, I, know, I already have idea. a lot of 2002 cards. Yeah. So I'm not going to be opening all of these. But I think we can open like 10 or so packs. Okay. And what we're going to be doing is uh, we're going to be opening these cards, showing them off on the camera. We have a top-down angle for you. And then uh, at the end of opening those packs, we're each going to be choosing at least one starting hitter and one pitcher that we plan on using uh -huh. in our teams, in our videos. And okay. then we're also going to be going over just quickly at the end the general rules that we're going to be using to draft our teams. Yeah. You know, I was going to open the first pack, considering I went out of my way to find this booster mm -hmm. box, but I sure. think I'm going to let you do it. Okay. Uh, you can pick any pack you want. We don't have to do, like, ten from one side or whatever. Just, okay. How about you get one of these plus nine Kurt Schilling cards on the on the side here? Mm -hmm. Now, from what I understand from people talking on, <laughs> yeah, they, they do not have the right art. Plus, yeah, each row is on base a nine. Yeah, you're right. Terrible. Um, from what I understand, you had a one in three chance of getting a foil or a holographic. Uh -huh in these packs, though in my personal experience it was never such a high ratio. But we'll see. Maybe you'll get lucky. Yeah, I'm, I'm, First I'm, pack I, I, am, I am hoping that these are legit. Oh, they're legit. I mean, I, I can tell. Sometimes these get resealed, they get weighed, so you can, like, people take out the ones that have hollows. But uh, we'll see. Hopefully that's not the case here. <laughs> I doubt that's the case. Looking at the back side. Here we go. Ah, uh, it's got that fresh. You know out. better than uh, I do if we have this already. We've got Esteban Loiza. We've got. If you want people to see, yeah. we don't need to show every car. Yeah. But if you found one that you think of, like, oh, this is a nice. All right. Well, car. that's low points. All right. This is Michael decent, Baird. A decent Jeff Supon card. Look at that. Plus four. Mm. All right, that's a bad card. Who is uh, it? Roberto Hernandez. Yeah, we got uh, a, a, a playable. Uh, Orlando, Orlando Cabrera, Cabrera. 10 uh, on base. Decent rece reliever there. And Big Rich Garces. Look at that. <laughs> He's a big uh, boy. Olmedo signs is 50 points. And then we've got the two, uh, strategy, cards. two strategy cards. Should I keep these separate? Yes. You can put those separately from the rest there of the cards. Now. Okay. So Rich Garces, not, not the best pack. No. I'll admit. No, not, not, not I think I all. have most of those cards oh, okay. already. So, good I job, D. I'll arrange them by point value. You probably should have left the, well, at least one card yeah, here. For well, all right. There you go, Olmedo. Yeah. Olmedo signs. Remember I used him in, I believe, our 2000 video to great success. Did you? You know what? I'm going to use... I'll be honest, I don't remember that. It's been a while. You don't run. You're sure? I remember everything. Didn't I? Wait. I don't think these have been resealed. And I, the reason I say that is... I won is, one of those games, right? Huh? Didn't I win one? Yeah, the easiest years, if you are interested in playing this game, the easiest years to find packs for, unopened booster packs or, like, starter kits, mm -hmm. would be 2000 and 2002. I feel like those were the years they went really hard. The first year and... Um, maybe the well, the first year, the remodel, kind of, because 02 had, like, completely different... I mean, 2000 was the first year, and then 02 was... Now, I'm a little different than D. I like to do a little fan action. Mm-hmm. 
to see if there's a foil now. It doesn't look like we do have one at all. Um, Aubrey Huff, social media star. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah. You can avoid that uh, Twitter page. <laughs> you uh, don't go on his Twitter account. Uh, Ooh. I don't have Wikipedia this card. Wikipedia Gonzalez? Wiki Gonzalez. Look at it. But no, he's not a bad for a catcher. Look at his home run. Oh, wow. And a 10 on base and a catcher plus six. It's a pretty good defense I don't player. recall him as an individual. Yeah, Wiki Gonzalez. Uh, AJ Burnett. A lot of people know this game. Those AJ sure. Burnett. Brad Wilkerson. No, yeah, it's a pretty good pack so far. I mean, nothing holographic, of course. Um, yeah, like oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, I yeah. just moved this. Aha. Is that Roger Sedano. Sedano. Speed. 23. Speed of 23. He yeah, was a really... Look at his homer, though. 24 plus. Well, he's not, he's Gotta use here. some strategy cards. And then... Mm -hmm. Yeah. Craig Wilson. Oh, the old Craig Wilson card. It's one of these stranger cards. It's one of the stranger cards uh, from yeah. this... Uh, yeah. It, he had no position, apparently, even though he's in the NL, and he had to have a position. Like the Pirates. But a 380-point value, which is a great card. 18-plus home run. Mm -hmm. Very effective. Doesn't hit anything hitter. but singles and homers, though. You're up now. Unless you got fancy cards. Oh, sorry. I did that. <laughs> Whatever. We moved. It's yeah. Generally. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, let, me, let me grab a few and see which one feels like a winner. <laughs> you gonna weigh weigh your options here? So 0 for two on foils. So statistically, we should be getting a foil in this pack. But that's not really how it works, is it? Not with my luck. And no holographic. <laughs> Dang. All right, uh, Dustin Hermanson, legendary Garbage. facial hair. We don't need to show him. I mean, if you don't want to show that, go 30 cheap. point starter. Uh, Todd Zeal. Not a great Todd Zeal card. 80 point, 11 on yeah. base. Got the legendary Frank Catalano. So He's good. Uh, uh, Frank Catalano, 370 point card. Randomly good card. 12 on. He was good that year before. Interesting Hideo Nomo card. No control, but he's very good if he does, uh, yep. uh, you know, get the advantage. Well, yeah, he 22 plus homer is good. Plus, yeah, he's it's a pretty good card. Got a decent Danny Graves card. Danny Graves uh, reliever. A good Steve Carsey card. I might have used that back in the day. Another Sedano. And then, of course, the... Two Roger Sedano, so far the celebrity. Yeah. I'll tell you what, if we go 10 packs without getting a foil, we'll just keep opening them until we get a foil. Okay. Uh, it be suspicious if we go through ten though without getting one. Yeah, <laughs> and I'll look dumb. Yeah, <laughs> so I'm all right with it. I didn't buy. I always it. try to open these a little bit more delicately so I don't damage anything. Come on. Nope. Oh for four, mm -hmm. but the first card's a pretty good one. It's Michael Hole, mm -hmm. quality Ol. player. Uh, Jason Kendall. He was a major drop off from 01, only 70 points. Uh, Doug Davis, here. Billy Cook, Cock, however you say his name. Koch? Koch, I don't know. Jose Valentin, now that's a good card. 340 pointer. Ooh. Um, th shortstop good. plus three, 18 plus hitter. homer, yeah. yeah. Sean Lowe and Phillies collar commentator Ben Davis. Oh. And then two strategy cards. And another one of those play to wins. Mm -hmm. So so far, not so good. Nope. Have you seen a player in here yet that you want on your team? I got a hollow. Holy crap! A foil. They do exist. Four packs in, right? All right, we got. Oh, start with five a, packs in. Starting with a good card too, John Lieber. John Lieber. Oh yeah. Uh, plus yeah. five control, four hundred twenty. I think I have like five of those, but still. Good card. Followed up with uh, Philly's legend, Pedro. Pedro Feliz. Feliz. That's a third place. He, see, three third base plus zero is stupid. He was a good fielder. Like it's kind of what you would. He was a reliable. That power. Was his power eighteen plus? Yeah, that's pretty good. That this makes sense. A terrible card though. Sean Estes. Sean Estes. Not a good Legendary starter in this pack. Starting pitcher. Three hundred and twenty uh, point card. Another plus uh, five control. Corey Patterson. Oh my God! Who's the hollow? We'll know in a couple cards. I don't First know we've got. Putting... Uh, uh, Josias Manzanillo. I don't think I have that one. Let me see. I kind of remember him. 180 point relief. Pretty good. Pretty good. Pitcher, uh, well, at least control wise. There uh, he hold is. Hold on. Let's get rid of this. Let's get rid of these. <laughs> <laughs> don't bend them. We've got. Keep it in it. <laughs> Who is it? Bob Lowry. Or Bob Howry right there. But what uh, was that reaction? Well, it's, it's one we already have. No, it's a, it's a player I, uh, I, I hold near and dear to my heart. Mike, it's Mike Piazza. Piazza. Yes, Mike Piazza. That's pretty good. That's legend. Yeah, hollow Mike Piazza, three hundred pointer. 
Mm -hmm. 11 on base, 18 plus. If I had to guess, you might be choosing him for your team. Ah, uh, we'll see. Maybe. I'm happy with that. Yeah? I mean, I'm happy with any foil. <laughs> yeah. I didn't want to go through this video. Uh, I'm going to... Uh, ooh, this one. Right. Something about it. Yeah, so this is pack number six. Uh, yeah, that sounds about right. I think I've opened three. Sure we can go through. We could also count the, the wrappers. But who who has time? Think about this, and a lot of people watching this are like, just open them all! That's the thing about my brain. It's like, just open them all. I don't, I don't I'd sell huge opening one right now. <laughs> nope. <laughs> but I got Ryan Dempster got here. Ryan Dempster. Not particularly great. Hey, baseball fans will remember this guy. Hey, Tino. Tino Martinez. Um, here's another good card. Shannon Stewart. Ooh. He was a quality player. I don't even know if I have that I one. No, I don't remember seeing him in the binder there. Uh, Derek Lowe. Miguel Tejada. That's a good one. Yeah. Or should be, I guess. Eh. Yeah, he's all right. He's a 250 point, which I didn't put him up there. Uh, Paul Shuey. Plus five control, but not a very good pitcher. Fun name. And uh, another fun name. Buddy, Buddy Groom. Groom. Yeah. But that's that. Here are the strategy. No. All right. So I'm 0 for 3, you're 1 for 3, so you're you're hitting the odds. This reminds me of opening cards as a kid. You would always get the best stuff. That's not true. With Pokemon it was, yeah. maybe. I, I don't know, I, I was I pretty lucky remember. with Showdown. I the, are you going to do the fan? I uh, do not have a foil, oh, unfortunately. Oh, poo. All right, here we go. I have got Eric Chavez. Good card, 270 uh, points. The better card here, Maglia or Donis. Hell yeah. Mm. Mark Loretta Mark was always Loretta. a good not contact much, yeah, here. Not much uh, uh, pop there. Esteban Yan, another fun name. <laughs> Great name. Alex S. Gonzalez. I don't remember. I don't know if I have this one either. The other Alex There Gonzalez. are some weird ones I don't have. Shortstop plus four. Uh, Mike Dijon of the Mustard fame. And uh, another Sean Lowe. I think we had one of him already, right? I don't know. I think we've had... I think we had uh, Derek Lowe. Oh man, here we go. This is the pack. This is the Barry Bonds pack. The Barry Bonds pack? I think you're getting, you're setting yourself up for disappointment here, guy. Oh, well, I tore it. You're doing a great job. <laughs> you're doing great, Will. Oh, I think I see, no, it's just, that's just the rapper. Javier Vasquez. <laughs> 410. Mm. Dan Wilson. Mm -hmm. Craig Council. Here we go. That's a good card. Troy Percival. Yeah, all right. 310 point nice, closer. Uh, really good closer. Jack Wilson, mm -hmm. inferior to Craig. Uh, Greg Norton, not great. Mm -hmm. Jermaine Dye, okay. Oh, I've torn it slightly. Oh well. Damn, who cares? No one's perfect. We're not the type of the repack. No foils? No. Nope. All right, so you went one for five. Uh, that's, a, that's maybe the worst card in the game. Chris Wilson. 20 points. No, there are 10 point players. Oh, never mind then. But still not very good. Uh, you have a, an old Eric Karros. Eric Karros. A uh, old ish Juan Gonzalez. Still quite good. Whoa. 380 points, D. Yeah. Uh, got Jeff Wilson. I'm sorry, Jeff Weaver. My mistake. Uh, Jeff Weaver. Okay, starter for plus one. Ricardo Rincon. Good reliever. Mike Bordick. Okay. Uh, and a, a, I would say, underrated Edgar Renteria card right there. This was right before he started to really hit. Um, that doesn't sound right. I feel like he was an all-star by this point. Well, they're going up 2001 stats for these cards. All right. Ooh! You got a hollow? No, I got oh. Omar Dahl. Oh. Hey! You had something to be excited Philly's about there legend. for a second. Nope. It's always the last card. <laughs> it's not in there. You stink at this, Will. <laughs> All right, so we got Omar Dahl because, yeah. you know, he was... Uh, I watched the Philly, so... Randa. Here's another good catcher that I don't think I had. Ben Petrick. Um, I'm not sure if I have this one, but that's a good card, too. Isringhausen, yeah. Jason Isringhausen. Uh, Davey Cruz, Dave Veras, and... Ooh, what? Wow, was he really good the year before? Who's this? Rubio Durazo. Look at those numbers. Well, 11 on base, 18 plus homer. Hmm. That's something to consider. I feel like I deserve a hollow. You know, sure. I went out of my way to get these. Sure. So. Whatever you say, guy. Right now, we only have one hollow, and that was Mike Piazza. 
I'm gonna open a few more. Okay. If I get a hollow in my next one, I'll stop. Let me choose this one in the back. Maybe it was hiding. Pump, oh, I tore it. You're great at this. It's so good. Hollow. Nice. Okay, so. I'll do one more then, just to, so that we're even. All right, I guess. Go ahead, Will. But if there's no hollow in it, you don't get to open any more. Open three more. What do you got? Well, we start off with Ramon Ortiz. We don't need to show him. Hey, D. Adrian Beltre, before he was good. Ramon Ortiz is getting slammed. He's an all right pitcher. Henry Blanco. Henry Blanco. Oh, here's a good reliever. Rob Nen. Rob Nen was yeah. very good. Julio Lugo. Not a great player. Ooh. I don't know if I have this one. I have a feeling I know who it is. I saw the team mm -hmm. before I saw the player. Okay. And I'm fairly sure, certain, because it's an Oriole, that it's a holographic Marty Cordova. Oh, I was thinking like Ripken, but okay. No, it's not. It's the oh, other oh, holographic. It's terrible. It's a terrible one. It is Tony Batista, <laughs> of course. Of course the hollow I get. No, I don't think I have him. No. 170 pointer, 18 plus home run. Only eight on base. Only eight on that base. That is rough. Son of a... No. No. Okay. Hey, Pierre. Uh, JT Snow, have him. Really good Cliff Floyd. We already have him, though. Yeah, he's one of the best uh, cards. I don't know if we have Josh Towers, but that's an okay card. Uh, D. Brown. Oh. Copy my name. Spelled it wrong. Mike Remlinger and another <laughs> Garanteria. Okay. Well, hmm. I hope you felt that was worth it. That was... Nope. Well, I mean, it had to be opened eventually. That's science. We should stop. We've opened up 12 packs. Nice even number. Two hollows. Two foils. Tony Batista uh -huh. and Mike Piazza. You know, it could be worse. Could have gotten none. Yeah. Could have. It, like, I'm all suspicious. of these packs have foils. Like, it's, I, that's my fear. Yeah. That's why I keep opening forever. But Will has his own rules for these packs he bought, so whatever. <laughs> So now, what's up, Will? Before we draft our players, which we're going to do mostly off screen, but we are going to take one hitter and one pitcher from these cards that we just opened. From these cards? Yeah. All right. Not exactly a bunch of franchise <laughs> cornerstones. There's some good here, ones in but, there. Yeah. Okay, so the team construction rules for 2002 mm -hmm. were as follows You decide if you're going to play with AL or NL rules. We're playing with AL rules because of the DH. Um, we are allowed to mix players from the two leagues. We've been doing that for the first two videos. Mm hmm. So this are, these are the team construction rules, Steve. Yes. We're going to be drafting 20 players to our team. Yes, I, I, I understand For that. a total point value of 5,000, on each showdown card, a player is given a, yes. a value, a number value, mm -hmm. basically how good they are. And so we can build our team up to 5,000 points worth of players. Nine hitters, mm -hmm. including our DH, four starting pitchers, and then the remaining seven players are either backup hitters or relief pitchers. Um, if you choose to have a hitter that's only going to be serving as a backup, which means he'll be a pinch hitter or a substitute that can come in starting in the seventh inning or later, mm -hmm. he's only going to cost you a fifth of your point value. So if you had a 500 point player as a substitute, you can't use him. You can't you can't use him in the game unless he's a pinch hitter. Okay, so they have to come off the bench. They would have to come off the bench as a pinch hitter. As a pinch hitter only? Can they stay in the game then? Oh, they can only stay in the game if it's the seventh inning or later. Okay. Um. If you do that, they're worth only a fifth of their value. So a 500-point player would be worth only 100 in that instance. Right. I don't know why you do that, but okay. And that's how we'll build building our teams. But for now, we're only going to be taking one player, hitter and pitcher, from the ones we just opened. And how are we doing this? Are we? Is it just we choose whoever, or do we? I think I will pick first. Sure. Because okay. it's my game. So I pick second and third. Is that how that goes? Sure. All right. But I'm going to pick... I'm going to pick from here. The can I choose two. a strategy card instead? You can, well, we're going to have big strategy decks. We have a ton for O2, so don't worry about that. So I don't have to... Do we have, do we, are we just picking a starting pitcher, or can we just choose any one pitcher? Uh, you can pick any pitcher. Okay. Reliever or star. But yeah, you, I'll probably you would, go with a reliever. Because if, if, we're, if we're choosing the rest from the, the binder, right? 
Binder, or we can pick. You can pick them from here too. All right. I'm just but saying, specifically, it's be a these players are going there. to. These players are going to play. So, in our video, mm -hmm. you should. So, if you're don't plan on using the starter, yeah, pick a reliever. Right. My choice is Ben Petrick. Why you have Mike Piazza as an option? Why would I choose Ben Petrick? D? Yeah. Because he's a 220 point catcher who has a 10 on base, which is pretty good for any catcher, mm -hmm. and he has. Both he can hit doubles, triples, and homers. His 19 plus homer is very good for any catcher. 18 triple. I don't know if he might be the only catcher in the year who has a triple value. And uh, he's only 220 points, so he's a lot of bang for your buck. He's not a good defensive catcher. Only plus two arm, mm -hmm. which means you could try to steal some bases on me. But I like offensive catchers. Okay. So he is my choice for here. Now you can choose both your hitter and your pitcher. Mm -hmm. I've been looking at the pitchers. I think we can go with Isringhausen. All right, so you can... Mets legend. D's choice of pitcher mm -hmm. is Jason Isringhausen. Uh, very good closer. closer, especially when he was on the Athletics and the Cardinals. Very effective. Plus five control, really good. 270 Indeed. points, though. It's a lot for a reliever. Well, I don't have to use him as a closer. I can, I can bring him in, you know, no. early if I feel... You could. I'm going to take Shannon Stewart. All right, so D is using Shannon Stewart. Uh, you know, good speed, 11 on base. You're going to need to use strategy cards if you want to hit a home run with I'm him. I'm not playing on the home run so much, but he's got, you know, good, good speed. Explosive, he can hit triples. Well, he I might be the leadoff hitter. Mm. Yeah. Well, I have picked up uh, oh, you've got a my pitcher. pitcher already. Yes, who is it? I'm going to be using Ricardo Rincon. Uh, a reliever. Reliever, 170 points. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, only one, only plus three control. But I like the fact that he doesn't really, he, you know, you were, if I roll uh, a twenty, it's only a single. Mm -hmm. So that's good. Okay. I, I well, you know what? I just like his values, and at 170 points, I feel like he's a good, um, a good bet. I feel like at this point, uh, it's it's pretty clear who has a better team. Uh, will his scrubs? Well, I have good players. They have all stars. Okay, look, D may have chosen more established names, <laughs> but I got a good feeling about. What's the these point guys. difference so far? I got five ten. You've got three ninety. Yep. So okay, you got you got one hundred twenty points. Uh, you can sort of square John. Less exciting picks, but you know. All right. If this were a regular draft, these would probably not be the top four picks. <laughs> nope. But this ain't no regular draft. This is showdown. Yeah. So D. Yeah. That's going to do it for this video. Okay. So what's happening? So off camera, we're going to complete the draft? We're going to complete our draft. We're going to pick our teams. And then we'll be back for the game. Yep. Okay. All right. Well, thank you, everybody, for joining us. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I hope this. I hope a few of you enjoyed this, at least. I don't know how much it's It's going to be heavily is. edited. So I know. But even it's still. It's sort of time consuming to us, but it'll be yeah. quick to them. Still. I don't know how exciting it is to watch people open packs and I think pick four cards. Sure. But we'll Maybe see. It was a nostalgia trip. Give us a thumbs up if you liked it. Uh -huh. Subscribe if you haven't yet and you want more Showdown content annually. Uh, <laughs> we'll do it more. Yeah. I'd gladly do it more. Yeah. Uh, comments, any thoughts you have? What do you think of our picks, I guess, if, if you're if you're paying attention? Mm -hmm. um, were yes. there any cards in there that you saw that were like, you know, staples on your team when you played this game back in the day? Yeah. I'd like to hear about that. Yeah, of course. And uh, you can check out our social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all down below. All right, I think we nailed that outro. <laughs> Flawless. <laughs> uh, yeah, so until then, thank you for watching, everybody. Goodbye. Until next time. Yep, Eddie will.